The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. When someone is depressed, of course, you always want to get professional help. But the doctor specifically said, have you thought about suicide? And the doctor specifically asked, do you have a plan? And I think sometimes when people are trying to figure out if their loved ones is suffering from depression, then they are reluctant to say, are you considering suicide? And they are reluctant to ask if that person has a plan because they think that will make them develop a plan. But that's not true. You right. really Absolutely. want to know if they yep. have a plan. Yes. You can say, are you thinking of suicide? Saying that word doesn't plant suicide no, right. into no. people's ask brains. Them. And you know, you, you said something before that I think is so important for people to understand. And this is why, when we look at the stats, Women more likely to be diagnosed with depression. Men more, much more likely to be diagnosed with things like uh, uh, with addiction, right? And why is that, right? Women are much more likely to be honest with their healthcare providers and say, I'm struggling with depression. What do men do? Men self-medicate, you know, and I think your husband knew that he needed something, that what, something wasn't quite right. And I think, you know, his, you know, using exercise and also steroids for an, an amount of time was actually his, his way of trying to medicate himself to make him feel better. And then of course, when you get off steroids, sometimes psychosis, insomnia, and it's a roller coaster, right? Those steroids can take you up. And if there is existing untreated or partially treated mental illness, it can for go sure. wrong yeah, for anybody. Right. Right. But man, if, you, if there is existing mental illness there, it is gonna, it's, you know, that's a ticking time bomb and we do not want to, you know, it sort of pushes you up and then you take those steroids away, it causes rage, anger, psychosis, right? right? And you know Go what on. else is interesting? Now when I look back and I, I've done all this research, it really was the perfect storm. It yeah. was a lot of things great coming together simultaneously because his, his father visited us in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And I remember he sat down with us and you know, he was 80 years old. He had tears streaming down his face. Mm. And he said, Christy, I need to tell you that Bill had two grandmothers that had a suicide attempt. Mm. And what he was trying to tell me now, in hindsight, is that there's a genetic yes, component to absolutely. this. And if you were getting screened for breast cancer, right. and you had some markers, and the doctor knew that you had two family, you know, that doctor would actually make a, a, a different determination. Yeah and had other doctors known that, right. that would have been really helpful. And I want people to know that because they think that grief is something you get over, and you don't. You have a new normal, it becomes a part of you, and when you know that, you're okay with it. It's okay to have a bad day. Yeah. And because, I, yeah, and I, I think you have such a big heart. And I, I want to say that he was lucky to have you in his life. You did mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. you could. Mm -hmm. And I think it takes a lot of courage for you to come and to share your story and also to use your story to uplift others. Like, that is so touching. So how did you turn your grief into action? Well, I knew that I had two choices. I could either be a victim of the tragedy and just wallow in my own pain, or B, I could do something to help change the stigma. First of all, I started journaling because I wanted to get right. my feelings out and kind of make sense of it. And then I started buying every book on grief to, my, to the point where my entire house is a grief library. It was embarrassing to have company. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to write a book where I'm gonna be very personal in black and white about what worked for me. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, it's going to be the warning signs to look for and what everybody at home needs to know.